Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Maria Valletta, and today we are in Harry's Seafood Grill, the restaurant right on the waterfront in Wilmington, Delaware, and we were with executive chef Dave Banks. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Such a pleasure to have you here, you. and actually to have me here it's with nice. you, the Chef's You're Kitchen. in the Raw Bar. We are in the this Raw Bar. This is Raw Bar Show. This is great. This is the I hottest can't... trend still. Yes. I think the raw bars are the way to go, especially with the summer season coming up and the outdoor patio you have. And we're going to make a lot of different dishes today, aren't we, Chef? We are. We've got a variety of oysters, eight to ten, sometimes more varieties of oysters from the east and west coast. We've made a plateau. We've got some uh, plays on raw fish, sashimi, a crudo, and a ceviche. All right, we're going to have to ones. keep our voice up because this restaurant is packed. We're live. And we're, we are we're, live, we're live and up and running. Okay. Uh, interestingly enough, we've got a blue striped marlin known as Naragi. Naragi is uh, Hawaiian, yep. caught off the Hawaiian Islands. It is a sustainable fish. It is not endangered. That's great. So this is I not like the that. marlin that's endangered. So we're, we're, we believe in uh, sustainable fish and using products that are not endangered in any way. We've got ingredients. We've got lime and kaffir, and we're going to get this little bit of action here. Um, that's the Naragi Blue Stripe Marlin. It's got a beautiful uh, reddish, yes. deep red color, and that is uh, with kaffir lime, sashimi, Asian pear, crystallized ginger. Crystallized ginger you can buy right at the supermarket. Yes, you that's, can. That's how I do it. <laughs> it's no, just, it's good. Just that it's a much good little easier. snack, too. It's a great snack. It's a good dried fruit snack, and we're just going to take a little bit of that. The colors here look so Julianne beautiful. Julianne it out. And right I'll there. tell you, when fish is this fresh, like it is here, it smells so sweet. It, so sweet and, yeah. and like fresh ocean air. I mean, just fabulous. If you just taste that, which you can. Can you taste that now? Or are you allowed to taste I'll that taste now? I'll taste that now. Do you have special sushi knives you use for this? This is just a normal sushi knife. Mm -hmm. it's but it's fresh. a sushi knife. It's a mm. sushi knife. Oh, that's so good, that good? Chef. Fantastic. Here's what we've done. We've taken a mixture. Kefir lime, uzu, a little bit of sugar. Uzu is a citrus fruit. That's the, uh, like a Japanese. Asian citrus. Asian fruit. citrus. Uzu. Little Asian pear. Okay. And that so I see that you've soaked the kefir limes I've in. actually boiled it and steeped it just lightly and then okay. letting, it, letting it go there. And then for this dish, we're going to start out. Now, if you can't find naragi at home for the home chef, what could you use? The ahi tuna, any fish you want, any sashimi fish that you like, okay. you can use that. And that's what we're, we're just using the naragi. And then this is a little wakami salad that you can just buy right in an Asian market. It's got some sesame in it, a little seaweed. It's just delicious by itself. We just garnish it up a little bit of that. Okay? Looks good. So, the sashimi fish itself, you drag the knife and lay it down. Ah, oh, that's a good tip. Drag the knife and lay drag it down. Drag it, lay it down. Drag the knife and lay it down. Drag the knife and lay it down like that. So is it true that you have to look for sushi grade fish? You, you should look for sushi grade fish and that simply means that it's uh, it's tested, that its quality is right, that it's super fresh, super cold, and we're laying that out just a little bit. Oh, look so how that's pretty that is. Sashimi. The bright green right from there. the seaweed looks fantastic. We're going to take a little bit of this crystallized ginger, and this just plays. It's okay. We're going to make it a little wet with the uzu and the kefir, but it's okay. So here in Wilmington, Delaware, you've been voted best raw bar, correct? We have. We've, we've been voted that. I can't remember if it's the readers or the critics or both or whomever, but uh, we, we're honored and we're, so we're That's happy. a great accolade to have, as well as, I think, best waterfront dining. I mean, the seats that you have here in the restaurant are just so gorgeous. Our patios, when the weather's right, we're, we're happy because it's just a, a nice place. And best so. seafood restaurant overall in Wilmington as yeah. well, I heard. Yeah, we, uh, thank you. <laughs> You're reading the paper? I, I'm paying attention. That's awesome. I know that this place is great, and I'm happy to be here. I like that. And the, um, so that's just as simple as it gets. You know, sashimi is, is once you get your idea together and all your ingredients, there's really 
not much more to it. This is so pretty. Look at the color. Now that's a Hawaiian red salt, and we're gonna let well, it be. Isn't that so fitting with a Hawaiian fish? Right, and that we're gonna let that be on a plate a little bit too. We're gonna put a little on the fish, but we're gonna be on a plate also. Oh, that really so makes sense. So that's Asian pear, uzu with kaffir, a little seaweed, wakami, and crystallized ginger. Stay tuned for more from the Raw Bar at Harry Seafood Grill. We're back with more from Harry Seafood Grill. By that beautiful seafood tower we have there. One oh. or the other. We call that a plateau. That's a lobster plateau. And uh, there's varieties of oysters on there. The We missed a couple oysters. Got to add a few, I see. We need one couple. or two right there. I got a couple spots right in the hinge. Oh, aren't you supposed to use a towel? So you, you... you are. <laughs> nobody should ever do what I do. <laughs> Good to know for those at home. Don't try it without using this to protect so, your hand. So hold on to it, go right in the hinge, pop that little devil. You make it look easy, I have to say. Clean off the top, see nothing left. Nice and easy. Under muscle is most important, so it's loose. And look at the juiciness of that. Uh, look at that. That is just so, a fresh, so fresh. So fresh. And what kind of oyster is that one? That one is uh, number three. I can't remember what it is. Fanny Bay, Oyster <laughs> Fanny Bay. Bay. Whatever, no, I'm not sure. You get them to, all, which is great. I have to look at my list, which I'm not not allowed to read. But today. every night you have a, a big selection, right? Uh, How many? Usually eight, eight, eight to ten, sometimes more. Sometimes more. Another very popular uh, raw fish item is a ceviche. Yes. And a ceviche we're going to make today is with scallops, with sea scallops. And that is just. The ingredients are laid out in front of us. The ceviche. Lots of colorful ingredients. Is made with the scallops. I like that you're making it with scallop. I feel like mahi mahi is very popular. Um, just even any kind of white fish. Our, but scallops, when you our, get them fresh, are so good. Ceviche our style. scarlet snapper is very popular. Oh, yes. So we're just going to take and just horizontally cut some scallop. Okay, we're going to put it right in there. It's a sharp okay. knife. I guess you have to really be careful there. It is. You want to want to ride it? Let me see. Go ahead. How do you do this again? Just there. You go. Just horizontally. It just should just slide through. Just pull oh, it right yeah. through. Look at that. Uh oh. I That's kind of right. cut him in half. That's okay. There's no right or wrong. Well, there if he's go. going to be diced up. That's right? okay. He's just not really. We're going to leave it whole, but throw it right in that bowl. Okay. Okay. So that's that's good. And then we're going to make the mixture, the ceviche mixture. And that ceviche mixture is, I take a little bit of red chili. We jack it up a little bit with a little bit of habanero. I thought that was habanero. That's a little bit of habanero. Ooh, spice now, it up. Now, one of the things we do different is South American ceviches are very heavy in lime, very tart. Yes, uh, Peruvian is some, very limey. Some, some people like that. Uh, we found that some people don't like it so tart, so we do a little bit of orange in ours. Orange. Okay? Yeah. So you've got some poblano. You've got three different chili peppers. You've got a red chili, a habanero chili, and a poblano chili. A poblano. I go light on the onion, but we do put a little onion in. And red onion's a little bit more mild. A little sweeter, not quite as sharp, right. And then some chopped cilantro right there. And then I put the tomato in already. Yes, I saw so that. So that's that. And then we're doing the lime. Again, for us, we're taking just a little bit of orange, and that just gives a little sweetness, a little different character to it. Probably balances it out. It balances a it bit for, more. For, for our palate. We like it. And a little pinch of salt, go ahead. And a little pinch more salt, because that's really the key to ceviche fresh fish, fresh ingredients, and the right balance of acid and salt. And I do a flash ceviche. Some people let the ceviche sit, which actually cooks it more than I like it. Okay. I like it just, we call it a flash ceviche. So it's really just mixed, it's fresh, it's just popping, and then it goes. So you're not looking uh, for it to go opaque? I, I, I really am not. So that's a ceviche. It sits for a little bit. We take a corn tortilla. Are you, uh, what went into the first dish, I don't know if we're familiar with it, but that's an uzu juice concentrate. Yeah. It looks a little milky. It is so powerful and so tart that we cut it with a little simple syrup. It's not, it won't hurt you, powerful tart. But mm. if you're, it's like, whoa. Wow, yeah. Yeah, that's And a, that's cut with a little and, simple and syrup? Not no, yet. that one's that not That one's yet. not. Now what we've done Ooh. is dip into that, that with the okay. kaffir lime, okay. and then that's your flavor on that nuragi. 
Mm. I forgot oh, to I wow. forgot to show that on the first, but I did want to explain when you buy an Uzu juice in the in the store, it's a sometimes it's a concentrate. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, it, I prefer it as a concentrate because you can go any way you want. As strong, if you get a mix, it is what it is, and you can't do it. You can't make it any stronger. Yeah. But this way, we can control it. But you know that that's just drop it right there. It's great. So we've got a beautiful ceviche. Look it's at all the colors. Pretty. Yes. Right. So is this on the menu right now? This yeah. is. We have this on the menu. This is great. The nuragi dish that I just did is on our sashimi menu, and we change our sashimi uh, ceviche varieties. You mentioned ceviche. Scarlet Snapper. Scarlet Snapper is one of our our favorite ceviches. It's I, a white fish. It's really it just plays well with all those ceviche this looks flavors. Beautiful, chef. We do a little bit of corn tortillas. Lost the guy here. Right, man down there. I prefer the corn tortillas over saltines. I do have to say. So I'm glad to see that you're serving it this way. That's yeah. just my preference. Yeah. Well, I've never seen it with saltines. No, really. No. Really? In, you see it a lot in, in Mexico and in, in okay. some other places um, in, in South America, Colombia even, and it's with saltines, but um, I prefer the tortilla chips. Stay tuned for more from Harry's Seafood Grill. We're back with more from the Raw Bar at Harry's Seafood Grill. Now this one is a, a little bit more complex in the preparation, and here's what I was trying to show today. I was trying to show three different types of uh, raw food, uh, raw fish preparations. Mm -hmm. the, the normal sashimi, we put a little twist on it with the Hawaiian products and the Hawaiian fish. Yes. And then we put the uh, ceviche, which is a, a South American favorite of marinated raw fish and yes. the peppers and the tomato and everything. And then the um, one of the hottest ones in raw bar uh, uh, technology today is a crudo, yes, which the means Italian raw. Version. It's Italian raw. version, it means raw. And that's when they've incorporated uh, different vegetables and different vegetables into the, the, the preparation, and it's just delicious. Today, we've got different vegetables. Ooh. I've done something interesting. We're gonna use a hamachi or a yellowtail, and we're gonna make a crudo from it, and we're gonna make it with morel mushrooms. Oh, wow. Watermelon radish. That's pretty. Look how beautiful that asparagus. is. Asparagus. Compressed celery. I take celery regular celery i peel it okay. then i slice it real thin uh, on a bias and then i put a little uzu and a little salt taste the celery then i press it and it is just mm. pop how do you but press it's still, it i just put it on that plate plastic wrap put another plate just like it press oh. it and let it sit easy enough but it's mm. It does its job, right? And it keeps its crunch. It keeps its crunch and it does its job. So I refrigerate it, that keeps its crunch. We're going to use our slicer. Now Caref these you have to be careful. <laughs> well, it, it, it'll hurt you if you let it. I have one at home at least that has a safeguard. You Although it's do. a lot harder when you're doing something this little, right? The, the yeah, asparagus. you you do. Uh, you should use the safeguard. Until I'm kid, a professional kid, like you. Kids, don't try this at home but just understand what's going on, okay? And that asparagus has just been, notice I'm, not, I'm, I'm taking my time so I don't, uh, I don't slice myself out here. I think here. that's a very good idea. Because <laughs> there's nowhere to run out here. And then we're gonna thin this radish up a little bit. Then we got a little bit of radish there. That's a oh, watermelon yeah, radish. Really, you should taste the There's a the big piece. difference because you can see through Yeah, that, yeah, right? exactly. You want it to be tender. You can taste that. Mmm. Okay. Mm. We're going to work all that together. The watermelon radishes don't have quite the bite, I think, as your regular white radish with the red Not skin. as sharp. A little, actually pretty sweet on that one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. So let me have one of those plates, the sashimi plates. But you go through a lot of plates. In the we evening do. when we you're do. doing raw bar service. So we take, just randomly, put some radish out. There's no right or wrong here. We're not going to forget the fresh basil. Well, basil, crudo, let me see. Basil is an Italian ingredient. We're, ingredient we're working and it. crudo is an Italian raw fish dish. So it, I think that's is. a good match. We, it's like we figured it out. We're going to get some compressed celery working in here. We're gonna take the chiffonade, you know how to do that. You roll yeah. the leaves up just a little bit. You take Make a sure nice, it's nice, and dry. nice sharp knife. This morel mushroom, which is 
fresh, fresh right now. Fresh right now, exactly. So when they're fresh and we can get them, we go for it. And that is laid out. I've soaked those a little bit, then I've sauteed them a little bit. Oh. Uh, you know, to bring it, because it brings out, if it's just kind of raw, it does, it's kind of flat. But if you just taste one, you taste one. You want to taste one? Absolutely. Taste that mushroom mm -hmm. now. Is that good? Yep. Yeah. It has a little bit of salt, the saute. Mm -hmm. Time for the taste. fish. It's a beautiful piece of fish. Again, drag your knife, pull it down. Drag your knife, pull down. That's I don't like to go too thick. To learn. Don't, not too thick because it's kind of chewy. It's the, you know, that's, I don't know, is it a quarter inch? I'm not sure. Drag your knife, pull it down. Yeah, that's about a quarter inch. About a quarter inch. So this is a great way to start your dinner here. Then maybe move into a lobster dish, like a grilled lobster that you do. Right. And a lot of your dishes, I know, like even this one, are gluten free, which is fantastic. Salt. We're not afraid of the salt because the salt brings out the heightens of flavors. And then that juice from the compressed celery is going to go very nicely right over the fish and just a little bit on that plate. It's a We're lot of recipes that you need to come up with, I'm sure, Chef, between this and the other restaurants because you're the executive chef for all of uh, Harry's Hospitality Group, correct? I am, but I tell you, I have a great team. I've got chef de cuisines in each place. They are more creative than I am. They are just fantastic. I don't know about that. They are so good, and it just makes us all better uh, when we, we surround ourselves with each other and we're just creative and we all play off well. So Being creative together makes it, everything more intense and more exciting. And uh, I agree. I think it's just awesome. I've got this beautiful micro celery, which uh, taste that. Okay. Just taste that, and it is so unbelievably celery. Is that crazy? Yeah. Is that crazy? It's total celery it's leaves, celery. but so, more delicate to eat because uh, the celery leaves themselves can be a little tough. Yeah. And, and this it, has a really delicate this texture. This is micro celery, and I, and I shouldn't overdo it. I probably have too much going on on that. No, it looks but, pretty. Uh, I like it. I can see why you've won accolades for the raw bar here, Chef. Thank you. Stay tuned for more with Chef Dave Banks. We're back with Chef Dave Banks of Harry's Seafood Grill. We're back for our tasting with Kelly O'Hanlon, who's the GM, General Manager of Harry's Hospitality Group. Yes, And hi. you're going to make us a wonderful cocktail to go with Chef Dave Banks' creations. I'm going to make a yuzu ginger martini using uh, ginger-infused sky vodka, a little bit of yuzu and simple syrup. Yuzu is really, really tart, so it's about a third to a two-thirds ratio of um, yuzu juice and simple syrup. A little bit of ginger like ale. Like you made me taste. Right, yes. exactly. A yep. little bit of ginger ale and uh, some crystallized ginger. Perfect. Okay? Oh, it's gonna go perfect with yes. all three of these dishes. And it's a super simple drink to make. It's just four easy components. You don't want to shake too much because of the ginger ale, the carbonation, so you just give it a oh, gentle yeah. shake. I'm gonna make two here so we can have enough to share. It'll be so refreshing with the dish. And it really pairs perfectly with a lot of our raw bar dishes here. Well, I'm really looking forward to trying the raw bar dishes with the accolades that you received here at the restaurant. Look at that even pour three you ways, Kel, like, like yeah. it's your first time. I know. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Pass these around. This is for you, Chef, for oh, all your you. hard work. Well, thank you. Being on the Chef's Kitchen on the road here with Harry's Seafood Grill. Use a quick it. toast. Ginger martini. Very simple and delicious. What to order on the outside patio, right? That's right. Mmm. Mm. Isn't that nice? That vodka. is so refreshing. Vodka, yes. But you made vodka just taste so fabulous. Yes. Chopsticks are appropriate? The chopsticks work for me. Okay. I'm going to, how should I move here in progression? That well, is okay. one, two, three? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Go Naragi. As the show was uh, was shot, we did the you Naragi. You guys dig in here too. It's not just Asian me eating. Asian pear, crystallized ginger. A lot of the same flavors that are in the show. Yes, absolutely. Right. Mm. We got the kefir. This gonna I like the Asian oh, pear. Oh, it's juicy. Careful. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Okay. Good? Right. So fresh, so good. The niragi. Oh, the Asian pear is great. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Oh, with the crispy sea salt. Mm -hmm. Okay, going on to the scallop, yes. I think. I actually don't even know if I'm going to do the chip thing because I feel like I just want to taste the scallop in its pure form, the way you created it. Gotta mm. get some peppers. Oh boy, that's a good mm. one. I got there some I go. spice. You got, you got a little, little mm -hmm. spice? Mm. 
Aren't those scallops so sweet? So sweet, melt so in your good. mouth. Mm. Woo, a little spice there. Mm, mm. That's what that's for. Mm. That calms the heat. Perfect. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Going wow. on to You guys the, are having a great time. We are. This is fabulous. Yeah. All right. So I need to get a little mushroom with this, right? See, I, I Is would. that the perfect yeah. bite or what? You did great. Okay. Now, I, I guess I didn't think this through too well because this is a little bit hard without a knife and fork. Mm -hmm. um, so I should have done a little better. So we'll figure yeah, it out. but you could use your fingers. Like, you look, could. Ready? That's true. Oh, yeah. There you go. Didn't even think. It's asparagus. Totally okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, those oh, mushrooms true. are great. Mm. That's true. So there's a compressed celery. Love it. I'm going okay. back for the drink. Chef, fantastic. We have to go back for the drink because we got to yes. make a toast. Mm -hmm. This has been an incredible experience being behind the bar, the Thank raw bar here at Harry's here. Seafood Grill. Thank, Thank you, you Kelly, for making a wonderful drink. Thank you. To Harry's yeah. Hospitality Group, to you, Chef Banks, Thank for being you. on the Chef's Kitchen. Thank you. Great day. Cheers. 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 It's time to have some fun, and Harry's Seafood Grill on the waterfront is where it happens. Our creative approach to seafood is the highlight of our menu. From the oyster bar with sashimi and ceviche, to award-winning crab cakes, the freshest fish, and lobsters from Maine. It's here and delicious. But the real fun happens at our bar. 50 wines by the glass, a large selection of craft beers, and a variety of small plates that makes dining fun. All this combined with the best place to meet old and new friends. Harry's Seafood Grill. Get hooked on where it happens.